on TikTok, owned by China, ByteDance, a Chinese company, worried about it, you know, poisoning our kids' minds. Okay, we'll do the jokes in a minute. Now the House has voted, and I think they passed it pretty overwhelmingly, right? They voted for that. The Commerce Committee voted to ban or sell TikTok 50 to nothing. 50 to nothing? I've never heard that in America, even when we got along. Okay, so Bill Maher is going to go over the TikTok ban bill a bit. And he already gets it wrong in the first five seconds. It's not his fault. I'll give him this much. Um, he's just parroting what everybody is being told. What we can agree on, at least on this channel, is that we want to hear the truth about anything, right? I, I believe that anybody watching values the truth. Now, he does make a very good point, too, by the way, when he says, like, 50 to nothing. Everybody's really kind of agreeing on this, you know? So what's really going on here? Who's against this? Who didn't vote for the bill? You. You. Donald Trump's against it. AOC's against it. And Marjorie Taylor Greene's against it. I know it. what happened. This is like And Thomas Massey is against it, too. So it, it really is an anomaly. It is an anomaly. Let that him finish. And then I'm going to explain a little bit more about the lies being told about this bill. Like the old <laughs> explain to me why the people who are lining up against the bill and against getting, you know, saying, no, we can keep TikTok Chinese. What is the common ground there? Well, the common ground is the First Amendment and free speech. I mean, it shows how out of touch Congress is that of all the issues in the country, the thing we can get done in three days is ban TikTok. That is the that's that, what we're that, doing. That, right? that, that is the issue. The border. It, yeah. That's a clappable moment. You know, there are moments where we can clap like seals, right? No, um, seriously. Uh, and Ro Khanna, he's a Democrat. Uh, Nancy May, she's a Republican. There are things that it doesn't matter what party you align with or whatever. It's just true. The First Amendment, that that's it. I mean, that's a huge one right there. We have a constitution. I really believe it's going to pass the Senate. I think it really is. You, you, you've got you've got 72 percent, 72 percent of Americans who say, let's pass a data privacy law. Let's make sure that our data doesn't go to China. Let's make sure your data isn't taken in an app. By the way, the data is coming from data brokers as well. No, we don't do that. We do something which 31% of Americans want, ban TikTok. Heaven, there are chemistry teachers on there. There are people who are engaged in political speech. And I am a strong believer in the First Amendment. And it is- Rokhan is killing it right now. This, our data gets farmed all day long, all day long. So I just don't understand this, this hoopla over TikTok um, exclusively. I and federal agencies were telling social media companies to clamp down and, and censor stories on Twitter and stuff. You were there uh, defending the First Amendment. It's a First Amendment issue. I think it's potentially a Fifth Amendment issue. It's not the government's role to ban apps from the App Store. So, but And most of it, you know, the, it's easy to do those jokes because most of it is absolutely innocent. But it's also there when they need it not to be. And we saw that after the Israeli war broke out. Because somehow the kids all wound up on the side of Hamas. I'm going to, and, that, and I wasn't even going to bring it there, right? I didn't know that he went there with it. Um, as a matter of fact, hold that thought for a second. I want to first dispel the rumor that China owns TikTok. We're finding out that Beijing is designing this algorithm to help divide America over the hot issues that you debate every day in Congress, from race uh, to gender and all these other things. Knowing that it's been around since 2016, uh, Gordon Chang came out and says it's like allowing 170 million spy balloons over America. And here's what the FBI director said yesterday. That kind of uh, influence operation or the different kinds of influence operations you're describing are extraordinarily difficult to detect, which is part of what makes the national security concerns represented by, uh, by TikTok so significant. Americans need to ask themselves whether they want to give the Chinese government the ability to control access to their data. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean... Before, yes, Rand Paul's getting ready to laugh that off. This whole notion that, oh my goodness, you know, TikTok is influencing people to... Uh, be divided on race and certain issues. Well, now you just have to shut down everything, including the universities. You know, you have some universities that have classes called, you know, uh, uh, what is it, uh, being white is a problem, you know, certain things like that. So I, 
if we want to go there, shut down the country because there's a lot of that kind of communist influence. Yes, it is communist when you place people in groups and then try to divide the group, right? So that influence is everywhere, not just TikTok. That's number one, okay? Number two, train the kids. Like, you know, I, I'm not trying to tell anybody how to raise their children. Let them know what's going on, you know, and that they shouldn't be influenced by certain things that they see on television or their phone, not even television, just their phone, because kids aren't really watching TV like that. So, I mean, doesn't that concern you? Do you think, do you see a difference? Do you think there should be maybe a listing of nations like Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran that should not be able to own entities like this? Well, here's the first thing. Here's the first thing. And this is the most important fact of all of this. And it needs to be debated, not assumed as a fact. The company is owned 60 percent by international investors, 20 percent by the two Chinese software engineers who developed it, the entrepreneurs who began the business and 20 percent by their employees, 7000 of whom are American. So it's a very diverse ownership. It's not owned by the Chinese government. In fact, on TikTok's board, there are no Chinese uh, nationals that control this that, that are associated with the government at all. They're CEOs from Singapore. So this is an international corporation. And like every other international corporation, they deserve their day in court. You can't just take their property. Look, I have a lot of arguments with the Chinese communists. I have a lot of arguments with the Saudi authoritarians. But I'm not saying we should allow banning anybody to do business with the Saudis because they have an unsavory government as well. Because they spy on their people. um, Senator, did you see the hearing or were you part of that hearing? I can't remember what committee was in front of. He totally dismissed everything he said. So I thought the problem was that China owns this app, this so-called, you know, big issue, like, oh my goodness, China owns this app. And now we need to get rid of it because China owns this app. Number one, Rand Paul just broke it down for you. 60% of it is owned internationally. So it might not just be China, maybe some people in China do own it. And then you might have some people in, you know, uh, uh, in France who own it and some people in Canada, who knows, right? Internationally, 20% of it is owned by the people who, who who started it. And then you have another 20% that's owned by the employees, 7,000 Americans. So you guys are still, again, trying to take away their money. How is this even okay? Like, how, did, how is this even constitutional to even write a bill like this, right? And so, all right, now with this Belgian woman, China doesn't own the, the TikTok. They don't own the app. So what's the problem? Brian Kilmeade now, he's mad that there was some honesty on the show. And so he has to go ahead and move on to something else, some other argument. When the CEO of, um, of uh, TikTok was there trying to uh, rationalize why we should leave it in this country? You know, I wasn't in that hearing, but I do know that they have been working very closely with our government to try to adhere to anything they can do to stay open in our business, in our country. They've offered and actually have transferred most of their data to Texas, to an Oracle cloud, which they is, have review of the data by Oracle to make sure it's being controlled here. They're but often it's not. guilty of what's called CFIUS. CFIUS is a procedure where foreign-owned government no, con- countries are trying to uh, work to have American boards. They've also worked so this with is, this uh, the is government the, this to try the fundamental, I know about the Texas project. And now I wish- you see, there you go. And then he just keeps trying to cut him off because, again, he's debunking all of Brian Kilmeade and actually establishment Fox's uh, lies. You can tell. And he can't. Brian Kilmeade's like, uh, 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 you're going against Rand Paul. All right. So he came prepared already. So uh, you have to be prepared. Um, and he's right. And furthermore, too, uh, this is a, basically like a sanction. This will make. Other companies that are in other countries not want to invest in like American, pro- like American anything for real. Because then it's like, well, you know, if I if I accidentally do the wrong thing, it's like if I accidentally do the wrong thing, or if, if they if subjectively you feel like you don't want me there because you think I did something wrong, you will you will basically you will nuke my my company. You know, because this is the American government doing this. This is not the people saying we're going to boycott TikTok. That's different. Which it was effective, but it isn't. We put a billion dollars into it, or they did. But they did. He could not but assure that's an opinion, that Brian. Dance, that's your, Brian, that's he your could, opinion. That, that's your opinion. No, no. They, they, the te- nobody thinks well, the Texas project did. No, but the, nobody thinks. Let me finish. <laughs> nobody thinks the Texas project is up and running. And well, it, Nobody thinks, but he's right. That's your opinion. 
It's a fact do. So and, the thing is, is when the, you say let nobody me, let me, let me just, that it is. And let me just finish. They could not answer. The CEO would not assure that Beijing would not have access to, 100, to personal information for 170 million Americans. You uh, can't I, assure that in any country. It's not just Beijing. It's, it's, it's everywhere else. Russia, Iran, but Israel, it, it's everywhere else. It's Australia. People can hack your stuff. Again, what this is just funny to me again because our data is constantly shared everywhere. I mean, do you look at the waivers when you just go ahead and keep clicking okay? And their news feed, I don't think that's which is true. number one with young people, it is true. Right. The but number one with young people, true, it, even if it is were true, now, Brian, it's an allegation. You are making allegations against a company okay. owned by Americans, and you have to prove it in who, court. Who, who owns that company? Make, who owns that company? Six, six, by chance. Six, by is owned yes, by, by China. 60, no, it's not. See, that's a lie, and you're defaming the country. You're defaming the company. Right. Six and so he already did the breakdown, and Brian Kilmeade is trying to act as dumb as he looks. And this, I mean, there's just no other word for it. Because the thing is, like, I don't like when people lie to me. You know, hit the like button if you feel the same way too, right? I really don't like that because there's no need for this. There's absolutely no need for you to 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 lie about something like this. Like. Don't act dumb. We just broke down who owns Bike Dance. Now, I want to take you back again to Bill Maher, who says, uh, but they'll use it for their own good because now, you know, because of TikTok, there's a bunch of anti Israeli messages on TikTok. And the kids, you know, now they're, you know, feeling some type of way about Israel. That's basically what he said in the end. And he's blaming it on TikTok. Okay. So it doesn't matter where you fall on in the crisis going on over in uh, Gaza. Uh, you know, you might even take an opinion that I'm American or whatever. I don't know where everybody's watching this. You might say, I don't care. And that's fine. You don't have to, right? But the thing is, when he makes that comment, you already see what's superseding his thinking immediately, okay? And what we need to know, while you don't need to care about the conflict necessarily, you should know where your money goes and why we're in this position. And the truth really is that lobbyists such as Facebook and Google lobbyists, Israel lobbyists with the money were able to get this bill to pass immediately, okay? They were able to get this bill to pass in eight, he says three days, yeah, about three to eight days, you know? So that's a problem when America has huge issues and we're still waiting for results and we don't get it. But all of a sudden it is important to ban TikTok. And the reason why is because their censorship on TikTok is not as bad as everywhere else because they aren't, they aren't owned by like full American entities. You know what I mean? So that's why they kind of get away with it. They don't have to answer to lobbyists. They really don't. And I mean, Ted Cruz just basically in this little clip real quick, he just says the quiet part out loud. That's if you look at what is on TikTok in China, you are promoting to kids science and math videos, educational videos, and you limit the amount of time kids can be on TikTok. In the United States, you are promoting to kids self-harm videos and anti-Israel propaganda. <laughs> like, all the, you couldn't say nothing else about indoctrination of racism, trans ideology, none of that stuff, right? It had to go straight to that. So I'm confused, right? You don't care about the kids, stop it, okay? To say you're promoting to kids self-harm and then to parallel it with anti-Israel, that's not the same like correlation to me at all. Number two, the algorithm gives you what you want it, what you want to see. Period. That's how an algorithm works on any platform. It, it the, even if like on Twitter, I don't like to even stay stuck. I, I keep scrolling kind of fast because if, if you look at something too long, I feel like the algorithm there will be like, oh, okay, she likes this. Let's show her more of that. No. It, it, no, I don't want that. But that's how sophisticated these algorithms are. So it the the math and everything else, like cooking, whatever, science, it's available on the, on the TikTok. The only other thing is that maybe it doesn't have the shutoff mode. You know, if they wanted a shutoff mode, I'm sure that the bike dance would put in a shutoff mode, right? But nobody's asking for that. They're not. And it's also, again, not fair to 
the person trying to make money off of TikTok, right? Anywho, that's not what you're asking. Because y'all never ask for the shut off mode. You're making up a bunch of hoopla, acting like you care and you don't care about the American people. Once again, our elected officials are answering to lobbyists. 